Can you decide your target job during your first year of engineering in telecommunication? Yes. You can. So, what can you do to decide your target job during engineering? I will guide you how you can focus on target subjects which will help you to get your first job just after completing your engineering. Sounds interesting. Stay tuned and watch out full video. Having 13 plus years of experience in telecom field, I have prepared this video to help newcomers to decide their target job during engineering study. So, which subjects you should focus more during engineering? Let's explore. During the first year, you should focus more on basic electrical engineering, elements of civil engineering, engineering graphics, basic, and C programming and C++. I will explain how and when these subjects will be useful to you. During the second year, you should focus more on basic networking, analog communication, digital communication and digital system design. During the third year, you should focus more on electromagnetics and microwave signals, digital signal processing, control system, microcontrollers. VLSI is very large-scale integration, which is used to design the chips or IC. VLSI is the completely different career and can be chosen if you are interested in chip designing. During the fourth year, you should focus more on optical communication, wireless communication, cellular communication. Focus more on network security if you are targeting this job, and same case with biomedical equipment. Internship is the major factor for your career path so decide wisely. Now, this is the time to narrow down your selection of subjects according to the target job. If you are good at C and C++, you should go for a paid certification or an internship. You can become a successful software engineer within a couple of months of completing your degree. As you have already covered subjects like basic networking, analog communication, digital communication, electromagnetics that is microwave signals, digital signal processing and cellular communication. If you are interested to become an RF engineer, go for a paid internship from any reputed institute and start working as an RF engineer. There is a huge demand of RF engineer in Asia, Gulf and abroad. Fiber optics communication is the world's best communication technique. If you are good at subjects like optical communication, wireless communication, basic networking, digital communication and cellular communication, you can get a job easily just after completing your degree. You may need to go for a short-term paid internship. If you are good at subjects those I just discussed, you can target your job as a network engineer. You must go for CCNA training and pass the exam get the certification. CCNA is accepted worldwide you can have better opportunities. Another great opportunity to become CCTV, Access Control Engineer. These listed subjects and paid internship in such telecom company will help you to become CCTV and Access Control Engineer. This skills help you to have an optimum growth as described later in this video. CCTV and Access Control System are widely used in many industries including your home security. If you are good at the subjects listed here, just go for an additional network security certification from any reputed private training institute. You can become a successful security engineer. Knowledge of access control and CCTV commissioning will be the added advantage for you. Biomedical equipment engineer has more demand in the industry. Not only in Asian region but also in Gulf and abroad. You must go for a paid internship in any reputed company or institute to become a medical equipment engineer. Biomedical equipment are lifesaver for humans. There has been a good demand for telecom engineer in the construction field. You must have some basic knowledge of electrical, civil, and AutoCAD. Additionally, you must have hands-on experience in installation and commissioning of CCTV, access control and structure cabling system. I have worked as an RF engineer, fiber optics engineer, and construction engineer in telecom.
If you have worked as the construction engineer, you are eligible to work as the construction engineer in oil and gas field. Currently, I am working as a project assistant manager in one of the companies in the oil and gas field. There are two fields in the oil and gas industry. One is onshore and second is offshore. If you have some experience working as a telecom engineer in oil and gas field onshore, you may apply for the offshore too. Telecom engineers in the offshore field are provided more salary and allowances than others. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this interesting do not forget to like, share and subscribe for my upcoming videos. If you have any query, you are always to contact me via email, Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn.